City Line. The kids are all right. This is what the kids are doing right now. This is it. And I have to say, I was not doing this when I was in my early 20s. No. How to throw a bouquet party. You are looking for an activity that doesn't include getting to the bottom of a bottle of wine. Right. I think this is beautiful. <laughs> but this could also include wine. Then testing temporary trends. We all know that we're on our phones constantly trying those filters, right? Yes. And you can try your different hair colors, what your face looks like with a tattoo, what a piercing would look like. Yeah. So I decided to take it into IRL. And later, Sarah Gunn is a fancy folder. And there's sort of something for every type of occasion that you may have, whether it's a backyard barbecue or a baby shower. Before the lesson begins, you need to fuel up. Are you ready? That's mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, so I've first you need to pass me a treat. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's City Line with Tracy Moore. Thank you, thank you. This is the, how I like to start my weeks. Welcome to Cityline, everyone. So we are kicking off the week with a fresh start. And by fresh, I mean flowers. With the latest party trend, we've got Julia Grieve. Come on out, Jules. Let's talk. Let's talk. I like that we're doing flowers, but right? you know what? I have to say, this is, this is a bouquet party. Yes. This is what the kids are doing right now. This is it. And I have to say, I was not doing this when I was in my early 20s. No. I was in a bar somewhere <laughs> or in a club on a table. Exactly. So I love that they're well, doing flowers. flowers. I know, it's really How great. Awesome. Honestly, I, honestly, Trace, I've seen it so much. You see it all over social media. Yeah. And I thought about this. I thought, oh my gosh, what a great way to maybe do like a wedding shower or a bridal mm. shower and do your own bouquet making. But yeah. it was my daughter, Mimi, who's in university, yes. who told me, she's like, Oh, mommy, we're doing this. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. But same okay. thing. She was giving me the list of the food and drink that she needed at the party. What are the drinks? Coffee, hot chocolate. I was like, whoa, that's not at my party. Wow. <laughs> I was like, that's my girl. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good kids. You do so that, funny. kids. That's yeah. right. So you know what? It's really fun to do this. And yeah. it's a great idea. And it's not that hard. Yeah. The first step I am going to say, which is what I did, and I'm going to suggest everyone to do the same thing, is to find your local florist. Yes. OK, so i got to give a little shout out to May Flowers, which is my local. May and her sister Annie have been so helpful. They've provided all these flowers here today and literally answered all of my emails and phone calls all weekend long. <laughs> right, like what do I but, do now? How do yeah, I do this? Yeah, because you don't have to be an expert fl florist to have the party, but mm -hmm. as the host, you should be able to sort of lead the day and lead the night and sort of have the ideas. So take that time, meet a florist, yeah. support local when possible, and I you know, that. yeah, so that's, that's your number one thing that you're gonna do for sure. I like that you're gonna take something home from the party and that's a beautiful right? bouquet, right? Exactly. So you're making your own bouquet, you're gonna take it with you. How do we start? Okay. Okay, so one big thing you want to decide is, are you going to be a bouquet making party where you all hold your bouquets and go mm -hmm. home? Or are you going to make like a centerpiece? Okay. Okay, I decided for us, Trace, we're okay. doing centerpieces. Got it. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm you, you have it. no choice, Tracy, sorry. There. Um, so the, the reason I love that is because you could go and thrift different jars, you could thrift right. vases, and everybody will have their own little, you know, vase to take home. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do a little set up a area, a work zone. Now, when you're doing a centerpiece in a jar or a vase, it's really important. One of the key things you want to have is what's called a frog. Right. Not a ribbit. Not, not a, a ribbit. Not, not a, like a ribbit frog, but this is a flower it's frog. It's a spiky So it's thing. a spiky. These ones are a little danger. But yeah. you're going to put this in the bottom of the vase, which I've done for yours already. Yep. So that's in there. Now, if you don't have these, I'm going to show you a quick hack on how you can make it yourself. Okay. So you take your jar. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I've got like an X and O of tape over across the top there. Maybe oh, there you, oh there you go. There you go. There you go. Hold it still, Julia. Don't move it around. That's perfect. Right. Okay. So there you go. So you've got that. And then you'll take a little bit of tape just to secure it around the base like this. Okay. So now that you've got your tape with your X's and O's, that's the area where the flowers will go in. Then I would do a quick pinch of the tape so that you really can get those areas. 
so that's even a better point is so that, that they're all nicely spread out in that vessel like when we see the professional bouquets that's exactly we're like how do they sit there so perfectly that's exactly what it is they either have a frog below or a frog yeah. at the top like this to keep it so that they sit so did that you glue it in did yeah. you glue it yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay cool yeah, yeah. so all it right. stays so it stays nice still Perfect. now to be honest with you your vase is mm -hmm. very short so yes. you'll be okay to get some shoved into that frog but you may not need to once the leaves start coming in they'll be able to stand on their own fair You'll see okay so the next thing Tracy is really getting the wide variety of flowers and things that you need to build a beautiful bouquet okay go with a gorgeous color palette yeah, of course nice. that goes without saying uh -huh. so you're going to pick that now there's different types of flowers that you're going to need so number one is greenery Okay, yep. so greenery is sort of your base. That's what we'll start with when we get going. Yep. Then you're gonna have your filler, which are sort of like wax flowers, almost a little bit of berries. So those are two different things, greenery, filler. Then you'll need something that's considered a mass flower. Okay, and the reason this is, this is what we're gonna use today is carnations. Yep. And your mass flower is something you're gonna put more of in the, in the bouquet, mm. and they're usually a little, little more affordable. And make them more affordable. Right, so you have flowers. your mass flower. Yeah. Then you've got your Focal flower, the star of the show. So we're going to go with roses, roses, right? So that's what we're going to use for these. These, Tracy, are what we call the accent flowers. Okay. So we're using tulips and ranunculus today. Nice. And those will accent that uh, vocal flower. Okay, lovely. And then the last are your dancing flowers. Oh, all of these are These dances? are all dancing. Okay. And what the dancing means is that it, you have those at the end and they're up higher. Okay. Okay, Tracy, you're ready to go? I am ready to okay, go, so and I'm, I'm just going to start by saying I'm not good at this. Okay, that's okay. So but that's what it's about, We're having fun it's about at the having party. Fun. So I'm going to put some water in there and this everywhere. Okay, well, anyways, we can add the water. I can do, you can either do it now or at the end. I'll do it at the end. So you can do that. So I'm, I'm going to put a bit a of water since I've already made a mess here. But that's okay. okay. So now we've got, start with the water. You can also, like I say, add it at the end. Okay. Grabbing your greenery, okay? Yeah. Now we all have our little clips here. Yep. Are, there, are yours open? Mine are open. I, mine are okay, open. so everyone's going to need a clip. So you're going to start to work with your greenery. Mm -hmm. Now, the greenery is what sets the width of your bouquet. Okay. So if it's going out this way. One other tip, Trace, no leaves in the water because that's what will add sort of that smelly part. So you kind of got one in there, okay. so you go like that. I never knew that no leaves in the water rule yes. until very recently. Yeah. So that's what makes the water stink. That's what makes the water stink, for okay. sure. And so we're going to add, pull these leaves I like off. these little scissors. I know, aren't they great? They're good. They're is this, so great. Is this too high? No, no, no? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Good. And then I'm going to add one more little bit of greenery in here. So you can sort well, of see. Well, how many are you doing? I'm doing three. Okay. How many are you doing? You got one, you got oh, one. I'm You're trying to good. copy her because she's doing it. Well, she knows I, I what she's doing. I am not doing. a professional. I am just a professional host. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm the girl with all the party. <laughs> so I've got my greenery. Now I'm going to go with some of this filler, right? So again, okay. the filler is around the same size as that greenery. Again, sort of filling in the gaps now of the width. So this is now setting here. You can see a mine trace. This is as wide as I'm going to go on the on there. Love it. So then we'll throw in the greenery, sorry, the, um, filler. the filler. And then you know what we want to do after we sort of got the thing with filler that's also wonderful is yeah. that you can add it at the end. True. You can't really go wrong with filler. Just shove it in. And I right? imagine, yeah, I imagine you're looking and it's like, does it need to be more bountiful? Do I need exactly. more? Exactly. And to be feel bigger? free to do this move, right? Turn it around as oh, you're working on it. Excuse okay? me, professional. I know, okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go with the mass flower, and I'm like I said, we're going to work with um, carnations. Now, the one tip with the mass flower yep. is they will be the lowest, so they're okay. going to come underneath and fill up at the bottom, sort All of right. like this length here. See how low I got that guy? Oh, so, I right, see. they're low. They're okay, going to be mine low. Have, I've got to and cut they're off a mass, lot. so we can just shove these wherever we want, as many of them as you want to do. And again, social, right? This is really fun. Oh, yeah, this is let's have conversations. Gens. How are you? Hey, where's the wine? How, where's the what's wine? What's going on? <laughs> what's new in your life? Right. How's the job? Yeah, exactly. I'm like so, focused on making I know, the perfect bouquet. It's not supposed bouquet. to be totally stressful. So once yeah. I've got your, your mass flower in, I'm going to go with the focal flower, okay? So these, okay. Are, the, these are the big guys. This is the big budget right here in That's the rows, right. okay? This is going to be taller than your mass flower. Oops. It almost sits on top of it. Okay. Okay, so I can show you here. I'm actually not sticking anything properly in the frog. Is that That's okay? okay. You know what? That's okay be, uh, <laughs> because your vase is a bit little, like yeah, short, right? You guys are going to stay. Yeah. How much are those? Okay, okay. see? So got I've got, got, oh, got that's going so here. nice. But Tracy, this is supposed to be an individual sport. Oh, right. You're supposed to create what you love. I and sure what you're not copying stop you. Stop copying me. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just doing my own 
She I'm has three, joking. I have three. <laughs> okay, there we go. And, and for the roses, we should stick with these, not the white. Are these roses yeah, over no, here? No, go with the reds because these are Got the focal, it. right? So these are the big guys that Give are right in there. And they're, un, you know, the mass is underneath. That carnation is below. That's on top. Nice. Then you're now going to add in your floral. To, uh, sorry, your um, accent flowers. And so this how goes, am I doing for time here? We okay. one minute. Oh my yeah. God! You're doing it. You're da, doing da, da, it. Da, da, da. You're doing it. Da, 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 so then da, da, da. we're just gonna throw in the tulips or okay. the ranunculus, which is not a bad word. It's just a nice flower, <laughs> um, and it's gonna go around and accenting that. Kind of dirty, Doesn't yeah. it sound like that? Yeah, a little bit. But the idea is, you know, having fun with your friends. A great spring. So I'm fun. <laughs> how did you do that? You are so funny, Tracy. I mean, Listen, everything's a competition I know, exactly. I'm like, I can't all right. help myself. So I'm going to show you this one here, Trace. When you're kind of done, it'll oh. look like this. And this was made by Annie at Mayflowers. Oh, right? Jules. She's really good. Uh, right? You know what, though? Ours are not bad. I know. They're it's not so bad fun. at all. I know. It's such a great beautiful. idea. What a lovely thing to do um, because I think that we're often missing the plot with all this technology. We're supposed to be getting together in real life. I know, right? That's the point. So if you are looking for an activity uh, that doesn't bottle get doesn't include getting to the bottom of a bottle of wine, right? I think this is beautiful. <laughs> but this could also include wine. This could Thank totally you, Jules. Wine. Let's take a break. We got more coming up. Stay with us. some temporary trends. So we'll see what this looks like. Fingers crossed. We'll, <laughs> I hope you like it. But if you don't, 15 washes 15 and 15 washes, gone. that's non-committal. Welcome back. There are so many viral trends that pop up every day. You might be hesitant to try them. With trends you do not need to commit to is Daniel Reyes Coca. Oh, 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 oh. Make it easier for us. Yes, I did. Okay, so we all know that we're on our phones constantly trying those filters, right? Yes. You can try your different hair colors, what your face looks like with the tattoo, what a piercing would look like. Yes. So I decided to take it into IRL and I tested out a bunch of temporary options for us to right. change up your look completely. So I was saying to, uh, first of all, did you have some fun putting this together? Oh, yeah, this was a lot of fun, Because you got to try actually. lots of things. I did, and I got to change my look from head to toe, which was really fun, actually. Which is cool. Sometimes you want to do it like a tattoo is for life. It is for life. So it's nice to know that you can actually dip your toe in. Absolutely. And, and, and not keep it forever if you don't want to. So I love tattoos. I have none. Okay. This might be my entrance into the world of So you know what? This might be exactly it. Okay, ink, so right? that's a great starting point then. So let's talk about Blackline Studio. Now, I okay. love tattoos. Yes. I'm actually covered in them from head to toe. Where? Uh, <laughs> what did you like to see? Show us. That's right. Um, but temporary tattoos have come a long way from those rub and sticks that we used to have when yes. we were kids. Yes. Um, so in front of you, you'll see there's a book that Blackline has when you walk into the studio. And these are actually all temporary ideas that you yeah. can do with a temporary pen with the artist there. That's um, amazing. This little pen right here, literally one of my tattoos. Here, let's let's do this. We'll take a look at my arms and we'll, yeah. we'll this see. This is the pen, just That's so right. you know. So this is the pen that is used for the tattoo. That's right. And they have different wet widths and different colors. They can also okay. airbrush. All right. So somewhere on me is a new temporary tattoo. And I'd love for you to try and see which one you think it Let is. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Shall we? What do we think? Are, hold on. Okay, are, all right. Are those ones temporary? You would think so. That's just a little, little. Can you see that? Yeah, that's faded, and those aren't from Blackline. Actually, okay. funny enough, it's the snake. So if you Whoa. take a look, this is a temporary tattoo. That's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. So I've been thinking about getting a snake tattoo like this for a long time, and yeah. this is a great way for me to test it out. It lasts a couple of weeks. It washes off, okay. and then I can make the decision. So this is a good chance for you if you want to test out a tattoo. Yes. See why not? So it, it's going to completely wash. Completely off? wash away. Fades almost like a henna, but. Uh, just different technology, that's obviously. That's so cool. Very smart, yes. Okay, so that's with the ink. Let's talk a bit about the piercings. Absolutely. Because there's a lot of fun you can have by piercing, uh, you know, your ears, yeah. your nose. Some other stuff, too, if you Some want. Some other yeah. things. Why not? I mean, why not? <laughs> There's so piercings so just like that's right that's right piercings just like tattoos are a permanent decision obviously yes. i love my piercings i love going to blooms which is also owned by the owners of blackline oh, nice. but they have temporary options now yeah. you can use your app they have an app where you can actually take a photo of like where you would like you can pick the jewel and design the jewelry to go on to you oh. and then they actually have temporary options like the one that i'm about to put on with yawn from blackline studio actually okay so yawn come yeah. on in yeah. hello so, so let's say you have a piercing, but you want a second one. You want them all, you know, up your ear. Jan, right. you're going to show us how you can do that on Daniel. That's of right. Of course, of course. So we have here a cuff that yeah. slides in from the top of the ear. Yeah. And we put it on. Now Daniel has a beautiful ear that 
You have a good ear. I have a good ear. You have a See, good and ear. the expert said that. That's right. No exactly. one ever hears compliments there like that. Go. And there you go. And now I can try oh, it out okay. without committing to it. Yes. And then when I'm ready, I go back to Blooms and I yes. can try out some of their beautiful jewelry. And uh, like, would you ever do like a septum? Can you do like a septum ring? Of course, ring? of course. So we have yeah. a, the traditional hoop that is called a CBR. Yeah. You just remove the bead and you put it on in the septum and it holds as a placement. That's very cool. Jan, thank that. you so much. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's thank great. you, thank you, thank you. That's so cool. Right? Switching things up. So now I feel yeah. very rocker. I've got a new tattoo yeah. that's temporary. I've got a new piercing. You change your name. I've got to change everything. It's going to be... like D or something. Okay, I love right? that. Yeah, like yeah, very short. Like short. Yes, right. subtle. I love it. Okay, so we've done ink, yes. we've done piercings. Let's talk hair. Okay, so I love to change my hair. Yeah. I bleach my own hair. I use Clairol products all the time. Okay. And when you're, you're not really ready to commit with like a full, a full term coloring, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that you can use something uh, uh, that can change up your look, change your energy, and invigorate you. So I'm actually okay. going to do this with you live right now. But what uh, kind of hair color is that? So this is temporary. So yep. this will last up to 15 washes, okay. but it's going to give you super vibrant color. The thing with temporary hair color in the past was yeah. that it was very, like, it was faded. It didn't yeah. last. It didn't pop. This actually is going to pop, and we're going to okay. see it in real time. You're I'm going to do it Oh, right yeah, yeah. No, no, we're okay. doing it right now with all of you. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> we're going to see it at the end of the show. So there we go. Yes. Uh, so I'm doing pretty and hot paint. Um, it wow. not only it conditions my hair, I'm obviously um, box blonde, but this is going to pick up on all the little highlights that are in there. Wasn't It'll... obvious to me. I thought you were born that way, well, Daniel. I, um, <laughs> I was born this way, Tracy. Um, but yeah, so this is a great option just to switch up my look. So this is what I, I want it to be. Hot pink. This is pretty and hot pink right here. Yes. And that's the color that my hair is going to be in about 15 minutes. 15 so, minutes. That's so if right. you were at home, you'd go into the shower. I don't know if you need to wet it first. Obviously no, not. You dry just hair. throw it on. Dry yeah, hair. Dry hair. Just make sure you're saturating through, obviously. That is so cool. Right? So we'll see what this looks like. Fingers crossed. Well, <laughs> I hope you like it. But if you don't, 15 washes 15 and it's 15 washes, gone. that's non-committal, exactly. Yeah, Change your look up from head to toe. That's exactly okay, right. beautiful. All right, so your next one uh, might may not be for everyone, but it's also temporary. What yeah, you okay, so uh, I am no stranger to neurotoxins. So Botox and Dysport, I think yes. that everybody's allowed to have a little touch-up when they need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Skin6 is a clinic that I visit on a regular basis, and uh -huh. it's all about derma fillers right now. Okay. So when you don't want to go under the knife, but you still want to invigorate your beauty and your skin, feel a little bit more sexy, this is a great yeah. way to do it. So I recently went in for a consult to get jaw fillers. Okay. Now this is a procedure that takes about 30 to 45 minutes. They go in and they'll implant into my jaw and just sort of redefine my face. It yeah. stops me from the pain of plastic surgery, the yeah. downtime, the foreverness of it. Does right? it hurt at all though when they do it's, that? It's uncomfortable. I'm okay. not going to lie. It's not right. painless, yeah. but I mean, the long term effects are fantastic. It enhances the beauty that I already have. And yes. I just feel a little bit more sexy, a little bit more confident, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not forever. And I love that. Okay, so how long would, would that last then? A couple the months filler? actually. Oh, yeah, a and it months. fades naturally. So you're not going to be like, Redefine and then shrink to nothing, yeah. right? It, your body naturally progresses through it. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Um, when you are trying to change the way you eat, like I went off meat, a lot of people maybe want to try veganism. It's hard to do that cold turkey. It is. So you have a suggestion for how we can do that. I do. So DoorDash is my go-to for date night, Netflix and chill, order some pizza and some wine. Perfect. Yeah, I Friday, love that. Fridays for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh -huh. But when you want to try something out that's different, veganism for a day is what I tried recently with them. Okay. So I ordered all of my groceries that I would need for one day. That way I didn't have to empty my fridge. That way I didn't have to go full committal into something that I wanted to try. Yeah. And I was able to get frozen food, fresh food, anything I needed delivered right to my door and that's available nationwide. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for showing us all of the things. Um, we're actually going to check in with Daniel at the end of the show and see if he likes the hair color. <laughs> I promise and I will. And see how it all goes in. Thank you so much for always being being like game to play with That's us right. on this show. Uh, and thanks to DoorDash, all of you are going to take home a $50 DoorDash <laughs> gift card. Lunch, dinner, it's on us. That's right. All right, Daniel, off to the bathroom okay. with you. All right. Go do your thanks, hair. Trace. And we're going to go to break. More coming up. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> coming up, napkin folding class is in session. And I don't mind telling the teacher to pump the brakes. Press it down. Tuck up the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting, you're getting there. <laughs> <laughs>
So yes. um, we have a bunch of really beautiful napkin folds happening and gorgeous tablescape ideas. And you're gonna walk me through. Like, am I supposed to be folding these? We're gonna fold all of these, and <laughs> everybody do can do these. I promise, you okay. can do these. Okay. All right. And there's sort of something for every type of occasion that you may have, whether it's a backyard barbecue or a baby shower. Yes. So they're we're gonna, very pretty. They are pretty. Yeah, they're we're gorgeous. We're gonna start off fancy. Okay, let's do fancy. Okay, so, so this that's is the fancy beautiful. fold. The purples and the pinks. Yes. Lovely. And I love this idea for like on the front there, you can tuck in your flatware, or you could nice. tuck in a little menu card or something like that. Yeah. So I already have the napkin started for you, but I'll just show everyone. I folded it in half once, okay. and then I folded it in half again. Oh, I just ruined it. Sorry, you had already done that. <laughs> I set you up for success, okay? Okay, fine. Yeah, and then you wanna make sure that these parts, the openings, are facing away from you. Got okay? it. Okay? Yeah. Then you're gonna take that top layer mm -hmm. and fold it right down towards you and okay. smooth it down. Yep. And then you're gonna do that one more time with the second one, but not bring it down quite as far. You want a little bit of a frame there between that one and the bottom one. Fair. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then now we're gonna make it look really fancy with just two steps, okay? Okay. Turn it away from you. Yep. Tuck that side under. Mm-hmm. Turn it away from you again. Mm-hmm. Tuck the other side under. Oh my God, I'm a pro. And then you have this really pretty nap. You can stick a little menu card in there oh, if you want oh, to. Oh, look at this. And you can just make Today, those at home and print them yourself. Today, we will be having Kraft macaroni and cheese. I was going to say, it would be a takeout menu if it was mine. Right? But I printed that online. Pizza yeah. from Domino's. <laughs> yeah. It's very fancy. So there you this go. This is beautiful. And that was easy. You aced it. Okay, You're such nicer good. than mine. I want more. Uh, what are we doing now? <laughs> okay, so bows are having a moment right now yes. in everything. So we're gonna create a little beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What it's a bow do? time. I have all sorts of punny names for these. <laughs> so this time you're gonna fold your napkin in a triangle, but the opening is facing you. Okay. Okay? And then you're just going to not roll it. You're gonna fold it up, mm -hmm. sort of smoothing as you go, like mm -hmm. this. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna sort of diagonally fold one side over. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other side. Making it pretty even, okay? And then yep. here's the fun part. Take your napkin ring, mm -hmm. and this part and the center part are both gonna be fed through this. So okay. that first, you do a little squish situation here. Get in. Yep, okay. make it work, make it work. And then that's what you have facing you, but when you turn it over, ooh, I like the reaction. <laughs> Look at my bow. You have a sweet little bow. That is so good. Yeah, it's so cute. Okay, but easy. did you see my bow, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Okay. All right. All right. Next up, we have one called the envelope, please. And this oh, is nice. great for families because you can actually tuck a little something in these. So I've got these little conversation starter cards that we can tuck in ours, but first oh, we have to make nice. the envelope. Okay, let's make the envelope. So it's folded in a triangle mm -hmm. facing away from you. Okay. okay. Then you're gonna take one side and bring it just over the middle. Okay. Other side, do the same thing, just over the middle. You wanna make sure that the top's looking symmetrical here, okay? Yeah, like an envelope. To, you, yeah, yeah exactly. It's too big for a salad plate here, so we're gonna fold it over one more time on okay. both sides. Yep. Press it down, tuck up the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're, okay. get, you're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And then fold over the top. Oh. And you have a little envelope. And you can so really good. take something and just Stick it inside. Very nice. The conversation cards are a very lovely way to do. I, I like it. It gets the conversation flowing. Especially, Especially when you have teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I we take know. them we with know us each now paid. on vacation. So it's like, let's talk. Yeah, it's very I nice. Know. Okay, so the fourth one. Okay, you know I love a flower. Yes. And so you can make a flower napkin. A little okay. rose for your place setting. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so cute. So again, fold it in a triangle. Yeah. Opening facing away from you. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna fold it up, but we're not gonna go all the way to the top this time. Okay. So maybe about three folds usually. Mm -hmm. Not too wide. Okay. One, two, yeah, three works with the size of a napkin. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you're gonna fold one side about to the middle. Okay. And then fold it in again. Oh no, sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm thinking of? The challenge that we're about to do next, I gave a little sneak peek, but Ooh. this works almost the same way. Okay. They aren't watching. This one you're gonna actually take and you're gonna roll oh, okay. to make the rose. Roll it kind of tightly? Tightly, yeah. Cause okay. you want sort of those really tight petals that you have in a flower. And then you've got this little piece left over here. Okay. You see, so you can either tuck it in the bottom, but I've got a little opening right here. I'm gonna tuck so it in So you can tuck here. it in there. 
And then you can see the top looks like a flower. So this is our little flower. But yes. flowers usually have leaves, right? Right. So these bottom pieces are gonna fold over. Oh, and they're the little leaves. You're doing it faster than I am. My right rose now. is a little Ooh. tall, but it's just That's okay. Fine. There you go. Yeah, you wanna make sure, look how pretty that is. That is so nice. Yours is a tall one, mine is a thick one. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, they're gorgeous. They're sweet. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have mastered these four, yep. I think we should bring everybody in yes. and let's do one all together. So we've got Karen, Julia, Daniel. Okay. And show us what we're aiming to do first. Okay, I'm reach across you, sorry about that. So yeah. we have got a little napkin basket. Oh, and I did basket. just start to make that one when I made the flower, so I hope you weren't looking. But it's such a cute idea. You could put little breadsticks in there or so treats cute. like I have. I have little buckets next to each plate too because if you're using something that has chocolate like we have here, yep. I didn't want it to ruin your napkin. So you're gonna right. make the basket and tuck that in. We ready? That's mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, so I've first you need to pass me a treat. Oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's really important. Anybody okay. else? Anybody else? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm focused, All right. Sarah. I'm okay. Focusing. So right. in order it's to make race, the basket, right? it's a race. Is that what we're doing? If you want to go okay. faster, yeah, if you want to go okay. faster, right. 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 Dan is always for the speed. No. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fold it up a couple of times, probably two for this. Okay. All right. Okay. And this time we are gonna fold towards the middle. Okay. Okay. Right. Fold uh -huh. towards the middle. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is too wide. So we're going to actually it? fold it again. Fold it again. Uh -huh. A little past the middle. All right. Okay. And a little bit past the middle here, too. See how that's got a little bit of an opening there? Uh huh. Nope. You're going to nope. tuck that. Uh -huh. So I don't have a little opening okay. there. I'm going to start again. Fold okay. it okay. over. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Fold it over. Yeah. Okay. Right? Sorry. Well, yep. And uh -huh. then fold it over. Fold it over and then fold it over. See how you've got like a little opening right there that you can just sort of tuck Oh, kind of, yeah. No, I see that opening you talk of. Okay. All right. Kind of. You don't have to. You can just fold it over and leave it. Where's my opening? It's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's there. She's beating me. I don't like it. You're it. You're it. Okay, Tracy, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, 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 So now you have something that looks like a little house. Sure. And these two pieces. These two pieces are going to yeah. make your basket. Mm -hmm. So you're going to nicely fold over the front one. That's the pretty, pretty, oh, pretty. Okay. Oh, pretty oh. nice. Turn it this upside nice. down and fold over the back. Okay. okay. And now between those two folds, you've got a you've little got opening. You've got a little basket. Oh, and that's where you're going to put your basket. Can somebody yeah. pass me one of those? Yes. Yeah. Can you pass a basket? Actually, here's the basket. Yeah. I win. <laughs> hey. Hey. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's okay. see. Is not the prettiest. Uh, well, you, you, you be the judge. Why don't you go okay. down and tell no, us who no, no, no judging. It's just fine. from behind. Okay, from behind. Right. I don't All know right. how you get it. All right. Mine's right. pretty Let's perfect. See. I just want to throw it out there. You have to move your hand. Good. No, I don't. <laughs> And then we've got some time. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're out of time because we have a winner, winner right Who is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so it's beautiful. Yeah. Let's go to break. We got more coming up. Stay with us. Very good. It's very good. Coming up, how to deal with challenging people. No difficulty with difficulty. No meeting anger with anger. No matching energy with energy. Yeah. You get to control how you respond in different situations. Welcome back, everyone. Life's journey is meant to be filled with joy and fulfillment, but we often encounter hurdles in the form of challenging individuals. We've all been there, both in our personal and our professional lives. To help us navigate these testing people is Karen Donaldson, who never tests me. She's lovely. Um, let's start right off the bat with any insights you have about this particular topic. Definitely. When it comes to dealing with challenging individuals, it's a fusion of three things. Yeah. Assertiveness. Uh-huh. Empathy and strategic communication. You know, when it comes to dealing with perceived difficult or challenging individuals, here are three ways that you can do it. Okay. Choice A is you can choose to ignore them fully or change how you respond to them. Yep. Choice B is you can verbally let them know that we're having difficulty. Yeah. Or the third choice is, you know, trying to understand them and maybe making a friend out of that situation. Okay, interesting. And I like that you started with perceived. Yes. Perceived, okay. So we're going to start with... Choice A, uh, which is try to ignore them. You got it. 
and also change how you respond to them. So talk to us a bit about that. Definitely. No more knee-jerk reacting. Yes. Because here's the thing, Tracy. We are only responsible for our behavior and our responses. Mm -hmm. So when someone challenges you with their difficult behavior, you get to choose how you respond to them. Yeah. So the first thing we need to check is ourselves. And we need to ask ourselves this question. Is this person that I'm labeling as difficult actually difficult or do they simply just operate differently than me? Mm -hmm. Or the other question is this, if you decide that they are difficult, in, in truth difficult, what about them makes them difficult? And really observe that. And if it is, yeah. you try to avoid those interactions. You can walk away when it starts to happen. Right. But I have a question for you here. Yes. So I want you to think of someone who you have labeled difficult or challenging in your life, personal mm -hmm. work. Just think about it. Do not mm -hmm. name them out loud. Please. I would never. Perfect. <laughs> I would Perfect. never. And I want you to ask yourself, what about them makes them difficult or challenging to you? Yeah, this, well, <laughs> um, this particular person, I would say, um, presented very negatively very often and had a hard time looking inward about that, had a hard time owning that. Um, and so the energy was always off. I gotcha. Yeah. Now, in that moment, was it actually difficulty or is just, did you operate different ways? Was we operated different? in different ways, but okay. it was a difficulty for me because I'm in a situation where now I feel like, my energy is being sucked in every single interaction. Right. So eventually it had to get to the point where it's like, okay, I need to make space uh, between me and this person. And that's a great way to look at it, right? Yeah. You either remove them in the other way, when you realize that they're actually different, you do something like this. Mm -hmm. You choose to actively listen to what they have to say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes difficult behavior comes from people who feel unheard. Absolutely. So your role there is to present an opportunity for you to just listen without judgment in any capacity. Yep. So they feel heard, they feel understood. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them though. Mm -hmm. You can still have a difference of opinions. Yes, yeah. Well, we had many, many, many years of active listening before <laughs> that decision was taken. So for sure, that's important. Um, so changing our perspective about them, is, is, is that a part of what you've just said? Like you're, you're giving them the opportunity to explain if they have felt unheard? Absolutely. Okay. Right. All right. Not changing them, changing yourself. Changing. How you listen. That's right. Let's look at the second choice uh, for dealing with people that might be challenging for you. Totally. So we're going to talk about verbally addressing it. So, so verbally you addressing it. Verbally addressing it. Yeah. You have to commit to having a conversation. And what's most important is the how. Okay. You have to be able to manage your emotions. Yes. Right? No difficulty with difficulty. No meeting anger with anger. No matching yeah. energy and with energy. Yeah. You get to control how you respond in different situations. Right. right. And sometimes in the midst of it, you get heated. So there is a breathing technique that I want to walk you through. So in the, in the moment, I want yeah. you to respond, right? You're verbally doing so. Okay. So it's a three, four, five. You're inhaling for three. Mm -hmm. You're holding for four, mm -hmm. exhaling for five. Okay. It allows you to reduce your anxiety and stress in the moment. So let's try it. Yeah, actually the audience can try it as well. Absolutely. Yep. All right, <laughs> we're gonna inhale for one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. And that will put you into a state of calm mm. and get you out of that whole stressful situation. So do that you when you feel like things are rising. You got it. Before you react. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. I like that you mentioned the whole idea of matching energies because I do hear a lot of people say that that's the way they move through life. Mm -hmm. And I don't find that that's very helpful. I find yeah. if I'm matching your energy, then we're both spinning and I don't want to yeah, spin. Perfect. So it's like you have to bring what you can bring to the table without just responding or people will constantly be dragging you through their drama, right? Definitely. And then that's them taking control of the situation. You yeah. have control of you. Take yeah. ownership of it. We have control of us. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about how to set clear boundaries. Definitely. So here's the thing. You have to be assertive when you say it. Yeah. So set clear boundaries. Let someone know what you like, don't like, what you accept, don't accept. Most important, ensure that you maintain your own boundaries. Right. And for those people who can't maintain it, you get some help if it's in the workplace. Yeah. Right. Reduce the time you spend with them. You yes. have HR and your supervisor. Yeah. And Access those are that. the walls. Uh, what's the last choice uh, to dealing with people who might be challenging? Ah, seek to understand. And this mm. might sound counterintuitive to the whole process. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a friend out of the person I'm difficult with, mm -hmm. but it can be totally effective. And here's why. Most people don't walk around wanting to be labeled as difficult or challenging. Right. So you are showing empathy. You're showing that you're understanding. And sometimes you can understand that root cause because it could come from personal issues, stress, yep. things like that. But here's the most important piece. Mm -hmm. We can't excuse inappropriate behavior. 
-hmm. So number one, you want to ensure that you're maintaining your well-being and not putting up with any abusive behavior, mm -hmm. conversations, or comments. Really good tips there, Thank Karen. You. Thank you for that. Let's go to break. We got more coming up. Stay with us. natural DIY skincare options. The idea is that, you know, you don't need to spend a ton of money on all these different products. Yes. So many of them you can make yourself. winter and with the start of the new season it's the perfect time to pay attention to your skincare routine give it a little reboot so julia this is what the girlies are doing they're into skincare 100 percent let's make it diy right and let's start in the pantry i know right it's so funny when you say the girlies are into it it's yeah. so in everyone's into their skincare routine their 12 step the 14 step the 25 step yes i got one right i got one wash right you know wash but, but the idea is that you know you don't need to spend a ton of money on all these different products yes. so many of them you can make yourself and yeah. you can make them from things that you have in your house which mm -hmm. is great and we think a lot about food and we know different things about nourishing food and nourishing things Things, but I never think about how it actually could be nourishing on the outside right. as well. So we are going to make my very favorite. Uh, this is like a ice call is like a buzz uh, face mask, honey money face mask. Oh, because face mask. I know, it's a face mask. So okay. it's made with the base of kefir. Okay, yes. kefir. I think it's actually kefir. Yeah, right? I'm yep, saying yep, it wrong. Yep. Which is a yogurt drink. Still has the same properties as yogurt as in probiotic that sort of Probiotics. stuff. But, but it also has alpha hydraulic acid, which okay. is amazing. Which is known to help exfoliate. It actually helps Aww. brighten the skin, okay. and it actually can stimulate the blood flow to the face, which therefore can help with the little fine lines. Just saying. Oh, nice. Yeah. So okay. that's a quarter cup of that. Yeah. Then we're going to mix in a tablespoon of honey. Now, okay. honey is basically nature's superfood. Okay. It has been for centuries. Yep. So it has um, antiseptic um, properties to it, yep. sort of for infections, things like that. It's extremely moisturizing, adds a beautiful glow, yeah. all of that, and it tastes really good. It's delicious. <laughs> you use like raw honey. It's raw honey, raw honey. mixed honey. in with the kefir, and then what you'll do is you just use a brush, mm -hmm. and you'll just sort of take your, your mask. I thought we were going to eat it. You can no? you totally eat it. It's honey and yogurt, eat basically. Um, and then you just sort of brush it onto your face like this, right? Nice. And then once it dries, You'll feel it. It's kind of a little bit dry, a little bit creepy. It'll right. feel. You, you can feel it cracky. completely. Um, but then you wipe it off. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Can't even so tell good, you. Like You're, I can't. Oh, your face is so hydrated. Mm. It feels so bright. It's amazing. I it's love really that good. for this time of year because it is dry. It is right. Okay, and, so, yeah, go well, ahead. Well, I was just going to say, because I want to give a little food waste tap. If you, yes. you can use yogurt as well. So if you've got yogurt in the fridge in the end of the container, don't yes. throw it out. Add some honey, slap it on the face. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of slapping it on the face, let's talk beards. Okay, so this is a great one. I've done yeah. this before for, the, for my guys. I have two sons and a husband, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it's a beard balm. And this one is a base of shea butter. And okay. you can get shea butter um, in health food stores, whatever. It has anti-inflammatory properties to it. Yeah. So if you've got any little nicks or things like that from right. shaving this is extremely moisturizing and ladies if you also have an involuntary beard like exactly. I exactly when you pluck it then you can put ah, another bit of this and put a little of that on it right so Calm you're gonna down you're gonna do about three tablespoons of the shea butter and then you're okay. just gonna mix it in with about a quarter cup of coconut oil oh nice. okay and then you'll mix these together and you can sort of see I don't know if you can see here but it doesn't really go together very well right now mm -hmm. what you want to do is heat it so you can pop oh. this in the microwave for about 20 seconds okay. and what happens is the shea butter almost liquefies yeah then it when it hardens up again it's great okay. and then I just store it in a little jar like this oh that's nice yes so and then it's hydration for the beard. beard and then also like almost like a moisturizer I put in like a mint uh, oil to it so then my husband that uses it good. oh my god quick story though Tracy not a word of a lie I was making these last night and I left a spoon with the shea butter on the side of the stove yeah. my husband my son went to go make macaroni and cheese <laughs> used the same spoon it's like why does this taste like dad's cream <laughs> I'm like mom is working when everybody get out of the kitchen <laughs> seriously true story I, I can see that happening I can 
can totally see it. Okay, next up we're doing a face wash. A face wash. We'll go really nice. quickly on this. I've used this for years. This is a base of Castile soap. So tell us about Castile this soap. Castile soap is my favorite. It's the most natural soap that you can use. It mm -hmm. is plant-based, plant-based oils in it. It mm -hmm. is honestly so gentle, hypoallergenic, but I use it for camping. That's where I first learned it. If you're yeah. camping anywhere, this will clean your dishes. Got right? It. All the grime and the grease. So yeah. it makes for a great facial scrub with all the makeup that we have. Okay, so good. in here, Tracy, I've got two tablespoons of water. I'm yep. going to mix in a quarter cup of the Castile soap. Nice. Now here's a trip. You want the water first, otherwise it starts to bubble too much. Oh, okay. right? And a tiny little bit of honey, just oh, nice. whatever you want. Yep. And then I mix in a little bit, probably about a tablespoon of... Scotch. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> vodka. Yeah, no. Uh, that is actually avocado oil for those oh, healthy nice. fats. Beautiful. And then I just put it into the jar here, yeah. and then this stays up by my bathroom, and I've got that great natural amazing uh, face you. wash and that of course she's got the beautiful glass bottle the glass <laughs> bottle pump because yeah I'm the she's got all the glass bottles. Bottles. Of course. <laughs> okay last we're gonna deal with our eyes okay I'm gonna do this one because I've been obsessed with trying to figure out how to get eye patches yeah you see them they're all the trendy ones everyone's yeah. wearing them on social they stick on the face they drive in the taxis having the coffee yeah those things are you know single use yeah like so right. I figured how can I do this so egg white Egg whites yeah. are a natural skin tightener. Okay. So we're going to put one egg white in here without shell, if I can do it. There we go. Okay. She's Bra a pro. There we, are. there we go. There's that. We will use this egg yolk later. I promise I'm not throwing it out. It's going to go into a recipe. Yeah, the eggs are too expensive. I will make everybody throw eat nothing out. out. Then we're going to put in a teaspoon of coffee because coffee will help with the um, dark circles. And you mix oh, this together. The caffeine will right? get rid of that. Exactly. And then you've got the egg white. And then you've got this great little paste. So now what I did was take makeup wipes. The reusables. Cut them reusable. Cut them in half. And then I store these in the fridge. Yeah. And I'm just going to put it on for you. I don't care. Okay. And so in the morning, I will pop these on. I'm making my they coffee. They smell so good. Oh, right? I love and the And then it just coffee. brings down the puffy eyes. Yeah. Now, they're not as sexy as the ones you see on Instagram. Oh, yes, I got they you. are. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> All of these recipes at CityLine.tv, I actually think that they're really hot on you, Jules. They do, and they work. They work. Let's go to break. we got more coming up. Stay with us. Yes. City Line. It's good for your mood. Make the most of your me time. I live for this. Self-care. Yeah. <laughs> Never felt so far. <laughs> City Line. Escape with City Line. So Daniel was talking to us about um, non-permanent trends. Right. We talked a what little do bit about, about the doing a hair dye. <laughs> it's beautiful. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What color have you not had? Green. Have you had green? No, you haven't had I haven't green. had green. That'll be next. I Promise. really do feel like there isn't a color that you can't get away with. Mm -hmm. like, I'm all the colors of the rainbow. Yes! <laughs> but doesn't it look good? It does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank How you. How many washes you. and it's out? Fifteen. Fifteen uh, washes. 15 washes. So, so are you happy with it? I'm very happy. I'm feeling pretty in pink. Yeah, you're so pretty in pink. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks to all of you for the incredible information uh, on the show. Jules, thank you for all of the, the natural products for the bouquet party. Karen, thank you for helping us with something a lot of us have an issue with. Oh, sure. And that's dealing with challenging people and also the advice that we need to start with ourselves. Love that. Love and it. thank you for your napkin folds. <laughs> thank, did I do okay on the napkin folds? Give me affirmation. You, you were very good. That's all I wanted. I just want a gold 